Hi, this is Mark with Osmond Dias Tech. Today we're going to be modifying the system files within a bootable Apple TV thumb drive created using SAM's Crystal HD for Apple TV tool. I've already installed the USB device and now I'm going to use GParted to modify the system files. GParted is in the Nopix Live DVD under Preferences. GParted is searching all of the installed drives and there are three of them. This is my internal hard drive, this is the bootable USB thumb drive that Nopix is installed on, and this is the Apple TV device. I know that because it's a 4 gig USB key. Also, on the Apple thumb drive there will be four partitions. We're going to be mounting the HFS Plus and the EXT3 partitions. To mount them, right click, select mount on, and the default. This basically creates a folder within the Nopix uh, system that we can get to and then modify the system files inside the thumb drive. We're also going to mount the ext3 partition. So it's dev sdc1 and dev sdc3. On your system it may be sdb or sdd. To modify the files we're going to use the terminal window and select each one. First I'm going to go to the folder where the first partition is mounted. I need to modify the com.apple.boot.plist file, so I'm going to use leafpad to do that. Leafpad is like notepad in Linux. What I need to do is change the boot device from dev slash sdb3 to dev slash sda3. This will tell the Apple TV to use the first device because we're going to remove the hard drive from our Apple TV and just use a thumb drive. Simply change the B to an A, file, save, and close. Now we need to start editing files in the ext3 partition. I'm going to edit the fstab file and do almost exactly the same thing. There's no slash in front of Etsy because we are already inside the file system. And it's not actually the root anymore. If you did slash Etsy FS tab, you'd use the Nopix FS tab and not the one on the uh, Apple TV thumb drive. Exactly the same as before, we're changing SDB3 to SDA3 and SDB2 to SDA2. Save and close. Now we're going to do uh, a couple of things that are not strictly necessary. What we've done already is making it so that the Apple TV will boot to a thumb drive with no internal hard drive installed. Now we're going to set an IP address using, I'm just going to cut and paste it out of the uh, Osmond Dias blog because it's a whole lot easier than typing it all out. Pseudo leafpad and the uh, network interfaces and then I'm just going to cut and paste in the network settings here. We're basically replacing the section that says to use ETH0 DHCP and pasting in an IP address. Change the uh, various IP address and subnets to whatever you have in your network. Save and close. It's very important that if you're going to set a static IP address you also have to set the name server which is the DNS entries. On first boot, Crystal Ubuntu is going to go out to the internet to download many of the uh, configuration files. So if it can't resolve the DNS entries, then you're going to be in trouble. Again, save and close. And finally, if you're like me and you're using component video, you're going to have to modify the uh, xorg.conf file. To get component video to work in addition to HDMI, HDMI will still work regardless. Simply go in and edit etsy slash x11 slash xorg.conf. The file is already going to exist. It's going to have a whole lot of stuff in it. 
what we want to do is to change this very last screen section and we're going to add a couple of uh, extra options. Basically these four lines of text tell the system to use uh, component video and I'm also setting a resolution of 720p because that's the resolution of my screen. If you wanted it to be 1080, you'd set it to HD 1080p. Paste in those four lines right under monitor zero. And then also add this one last line right underneath the uh, subsection display. That's all there is to it. Now you'll be able to use component video. File, save and close loop back. And that's it. That's all you have to do to uh, modify your Apple TV thumb drive. If you wanted to use uh, composite video, there's also some instructions to do that. So now the last thing to do is simply to uh, close this terminal window, unmount the uh, file systems from Gparted, and then just shut down Nopix and pull the thumb drive out. At that point, plug the thumb drive into your Apple TV, make sure there's no hard drive installed, and boot.